So, Jennifer, Jonas, tell us about your app. <laughs> uh, how did we start this? So, we started uh, talking about it in January yeah. this year. And uh, Jonas, I just met Jonas, he was telling me about his projects and what he was busy on. And uh, at that point, we were, he was telling me about his ideas about doing a kids app. And uh, he he told me that he needed someone to to do more of the illustrations and things like that, and and then I showed him stuff I did, and I think we we saw that there was there was ways of working together, mm -hmm. and uh, so we took further and. Uh, so, but you didn't know each other before doing no, this. We, so we before here, how do you meet each other, and uh, what do you each, each one of you do, does usually? We we knew each other by uh, just a coffee kind of thing, like you do here in Beta Group. We haven't worked on anything, or we knew each other outside. So I just one day lean over, <laughs> as they say, and say, "I have this thing. Do you mind going for coffee?" And I explain <laughs> to him. And uh, that, I guess that's cool about. It. Work co-working that you can do that. And what's the app? What what's the name? What does it do? I can hear it. It's <laughs> Pikaboo. It's a it's a little um, a little app for toddlers, so really small children, so it's not for adults. Um, and it's a uh, it's it's a little app to 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 discover uh, animals, different types of animals, and the sounds and the names and. Uh, it's it's a little discovery animal app. Yeah. <laughs> so you made illustrations, Jonas yes. did the programming, mm -hmm. and where is it available? How can people reach it? Is there different kinds? You. It's uh, we did a we decided to try to reach such as a big audience as we could. So we actually done so that it's now available on the App Store for Apple, uh, Amazon App Store if you have a Kindle Fire, and also on the Google Play for general Android devices. Uh, I think the easiest way to find it, if you're interested, is go to our website, which is, which is pickabooapp.com, and there you can see screenshots, and it will also explain to you about how to get it. And uh, so, how many languages is it available in, and how do you do go about the localization? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, we did, uh, ambitious as we were, we decided to do it in six languages. So we support English, French, German, Spanish, Dutch, and Swedish. Uh, and uh, it was great, because there we could use people within the co-working to help us from different nationalities with both the translation and the recording of voices. And on both the, your sides, the graphic design or, and then the programming, what have been the biggest uh, challenges for you in developing the app? Um. I think the most challenging for, for from doing this app was just testing the development mm. and uh, doing it for the different platforms, yeah. right? And uh, I think that's the thing that took the most time. And uh, and of course, the creative part is is the fun part. So uh, I was blessed with that. <laughs> <laughs> he does all the dirty work. So uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, so yeah. I think that was. It yeah. took the longest, and also the fact that we did it in our free time, so it always takes a little bit longer to do. And, uh, yeah. So you said this was kind of a, like a like a s experiment in mobile development. Are yeah. you? Yeah. Do you have anything planned for the future? Is there anything that is uh, tickling you? We we talked a lot about brainstorming, or we brainstormed a lot in the beginning. I think we came up with some good ideas there that we are curious to maybe test. Uh, I think we're, we're still waiting to see what the response is on this one and uh, I think if this works well then, then it's quite likely that we will work with something new again. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.